Hey, what's going on guys? It's King Tuts Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. Guys, I am back and it feels good. Sorry, I took a little break because I was sick like I told you guys, but now I feel fabulous. I decided to do a video for you guys just because, you know, my past videos weren't doing so good and I did kind of feel bad, so I decided to kind of level up or kind of pick up the game a little bit to the channel. So, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to do a really cool kind of LUT color grading tutorial. It's not really like a tutorial, but it's more of like a how to install LUTs to your uh, videos and kind of apply them to your videos or into Final Cut Pro 10 and apply them to your videos. Now, I'm pretty sure there's other videos that, you know, show you guys how to do it, but this one is a little bit different because I actually found a website which you guys can download for free. Uh, you guys can download free LUTs. And guys, this video is not sponsored whatsoever. I'm not getting paid to say any of this. This I actually just found today. Uh, literally, it says it in the title. There's 200 presets for Adobe Photoshop, Premiere Pro, After Effects, Speed Grade, DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut Pro 10, and there's a lot more. Like I said, I'm not being sponsored. I just really wanted to share this with you guys because you guys deserve. There is going to be some things that you guys do have to install first, and that is the Motion VFX. I'm not being sponsored again to say any of this. Go over to motionvfx.com if you guys want to download the free version of a LUT installer for Final Cut Pro 10. Now, this one is only for Final Cut Pro 10 because Motion VFX is only for Final Cut. You're going to go to the M installer. You actually have to download that first. Everything is for free in this video, guys. I'll have everything down in the description. But go to M installer. And once you have that installed, go down to where it says all, and then there's an MLUT plugin 1.4. Install that, it is for free as you can see there, and it will install it into Final Cut Pro 10. It's very simple and easy to do, just follow along with the steps, it's not that hard guys. So uh, yeah, and these are the effects that you guys can apply to your videos. Right here is, like I said, some different color grading and right here on the left side it says the title and what it was shot with so this was shot with a red dragon 6k camera and it was color graded with the LUT W8590 and this is really cool now if you guys don't know what the LUT is if you go all the way down and like I said it gives you a quick samples of movies and TV shows that you guys can use LUTs and kind of apply them to your videos now you guys can download the free ones which I'm going to show you guys in this video or you guys can go ahead and buy them for $25, I'm totally going to buy this right after this video because he really, really deserves it. Honestly, guys, you even have the Walking Dead uh, color grading. Sorry if that's kind of a very nasty picture, but that you can just see like how different you can make a video look. But right here where it says free stuff and tools, if you go down, this is where you guys can download the free LUTs to your videos. Now, I downloaded the Aspen as well as the new one, which is the Humble video. I also made a video on the Kendrick Lamar Humble uh, shake effect. If you guys want to watch that, link will be down in the description so you guys can check it out. Anyways, these are the ones that you guys can download for free. And for the most part, I don't know about this one, but you guys can download these LUTs. These are custom LUTs that he created, which is awesome. So you guys can do the free LUT Aspen, which is pretty nice, and it gives you a little description. It says, uh, this look is inspired from Kodak Vivid Films, like the Ektar 100 and the Cinema Film Vision 2383. Atmosphere will turn to dark cyan and juniper, or juniper which is pretty cool. So if you want to download one, which is, I use this one right here, which is my favorite, the Free Let Humble. And uh, it says, inspired by the look of Kendrick Lamar Humble music video, color graded by Jamie Orbrandovich. Beautiful, warm, green, blue atmosphere. Just click on the download button right there. Once you go ahead and download it, it's going to be in a zip, and you want to go ahead and unzip that. So if you go into the finder and we go to the downloads right here, it's going to be kind of like this. I moved it to my desktop, so it's going to look like this, and it gives you the title right here, Humble. Go ahead and open that folder up, and there's going to be a couple of folders right here. Now, in these folders, you're going to have different things or different folders that are... Uh, in different categories and you guys are probably com like really confused with this so the 3d out there's different ones and the ones in parentheses correspond to a editing program so for the cube I believe that one for sure is fi for uh, Final Cut Pro 10 the web I think is for Premiere I'm not too sure you guys can go on to the manuals right here or the guides to help you with that 
and you also have the manual install for Adobe Premiere Pro CC. However, I'm not working with that. I'm working with Final Cut Pro 10. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using the LUT Cube folder. This is the actual folder that we want to go ahead and use. So go into Final Cut Pro 10 and we have this video here that I filmed with the stabilizer that I received not too long ago. So once you have the folder downloaded and you have it ready to go as well as the M installer the LUT plugin installed into Final Cut Pro 10. We're pretty much ready to go and install the LUT. So the LUT is a lookup table and it's a pretty much like a quick color grading to your video. Now I don't specifically know the whole terms, the technical definition of it. You guys can look that up, but uh, for this video, I'm just going to show you guys how to use and install it in Final Cut. So you want to go ahead and go to, into the effects here and go down to the MLUT right there. Drag that on your video. It's going to be the MLUT by Motion VFX. And then you're going to have this in the inspector window with a bunch of settings that you guys can later change. Now we have the MLUT library, but this is only for the M installer or for the M the Motion VFX library, but we're not going to be doing that because we didn't download the LUTs from them. We downloaded it from a different website. So we're going to go to the load custom LUT. Now this is where you guys can go ahead and install a custom LUT that you've created or you've downloaded from somewhere else. In this case we have, so we're going to go to the desktop. We're going to go ahead and choose the one that we want to use. I, you can use the Aspen or the Humble, whatever you guys chose to download. and this is what you're going to come up with here. Make sure you choose the cube folder and you want to go ahead and click on load. Now within these files, you're going to go ahead and select a corresponding LUT for your video. Now the vlog cube, this one is a very strong LUT or a very strong color graded uh, LUT, which is something you would create or something you would apply it to if, if your video is very flat. In this case, my video is not that flat. It has some color to it. So we're going to go with the standard cube one or the standard cube LUT. So it's not too harsh. It just kind of adds a subtle color grade. Or you can do the log.cube LUT, which is pretty much the normal one. It still has like a, a in between. The strength isn't too much. In this case, we're going to go with the standard one and click on load. Now, once you click on load, it's going to go ahead and apply the LUT to your video, as you can see. And it looks absolutely amazing guys this looks beautiful it shows the oranges the blues in the water and it kind of gives you that Jesse Wellens vibe and that's why I kind of named it after that because his videos do of course have a LUT I know that for a fact he has a LUT on his videos as you can see here and it just looks awesome and I'm pretty sure he used this or he filmed it with a Sony camera of some sort and uh, it honestly looks so, so good and definitely added it to a flat image because normally it records it in a log file or a .709. And if you guys don't know what that is, that is a whole different video or kind of different uh, subject or topic. But I will leave a video down in the description where this guy talks about everything about LUTs and or the... Um, different kinds of log files. You guys can pretty much customize this whole thing if you really wanted to. Uh, you can do the levels, you guys can change the highlights, you can do a whole bunch of things with this guys. So I would really suggest you guys go to the website here lutz.iwltbap.com. I'll just post this down in the description so you guys can click on it quickly. And like I said, be sure to give him some credit guys. He really, really deserve, uh, deserves all of it right here. And um, like I said, I hope you guys found this kind of video helpful to install LUTs and apply them to your vlogs or videos. I know it really wasn't a big tutorial on how to use LUTs, but more of how to install them. So, uh, I mean, if you found this video helpful in any way, be sure to comment what you guys want to see because I really, really want to see what you guys want me to make on. So until then, peace out, take care, and enjoy your day.